BBC News. Now, <clears throat> I'm recording this particular piece on the uh, 23rd of January. Now, what do you think took pride of place on the BBC News at 6 o'clock today? Was it uh, the tragedy of a man who threw his kids over the balcony uh, while they're on holiday and who was then cleared of murder? No. Was it uh, public sector workers striking and the police going out on a march in London? No. Was the die on an inquest where the one man left alive from the whole thing went to uh, speak on the matter? No. Of course not. It's, it's a BBC. It's global fucking warming all over again, isn't it? You know, I mean, the, the, the big news tonight was that household energy bills, thanks to the EU sticking the fucking noses in, are going to rise by £120 a year. From when? From tomorrow? From next week? No. From 2020. That's fucking useful, isn't it? In 12 years' time. £120 rise in 12 years. It can't be that long before I'm due another energy bill from Scottish Power. My fucking bill will go by more than that by the time that even drops on the mat. Anyway, I expect the, the editor of BBC News will be on uh, Newswatch this week. Uh, not a bad programme, actually, on uh, Friday on News 24 at 8.45 in the evening. Uh, repeated at 7.45 the following morning. <clears throat> yeah, once he's been hauled over the uh, the coals yet again to about giving prominence to uh, another load of old government flannel, and he'll just sit there and say, "Oh, we we got it wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll we'll never do it again." And then um, he'll be he'll be back in the seat again a couple of weeks later. People say the BBC News is the best in the world. You got a bloody joking, you know? Only perhaps if you're chicken licking and uh, the, your favourite words are "the sky is falling, the sky is falling." Uh, because you've got nothing better to think about. Goodbye.